Hello friends. Today, I will show you how to create a GPS tracker using a LoRa module. It has an impressive range of 15 kilometers. And the best part is that it does not require an internet connection or a GSM network, allowing you to use it anywhere. This project consists of two devices, the transmitter and the receiver. Let's start with the transmitter device. This device is responsible to send the GPS data to the receiver device. For this, I have used an Arduino Nano as the brain of the receiver device. To enable long-range communication, I integrated the long-range RYLR 4.6 LoRa module provided by Rayux. Next, I have connected Neo 6M GPS module to get the accurate positioning data from the connected satellites. To power the entire circuit, I am using a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. It provides a stable 4.6 volts when fully charged. So this battery is perfect for our needs. Moving on to the receiver device, I have connected a LoRa module to a node MCU. And to track the location in real time, I have connected the transmitter device to my Android phone using a USB OTG cable. Once the receiver device is connected, it starts receiving the GPS coordinates from the transmitter device. Then you can view this data on Google Maps using a specially designed app called Arduino ESP32 GPS Map. You can easily download this app from the Play Store. For this project, I am using RYLR406 transceiver LoRa module from Rayux. With a frequency range from 426 to 470 MHz, it provides flexible options for transmitting data over significant distances. If you need more detail about this module, then you can watch my previous video on LoRa module. Check the link in the description. To obtain accurate GPS data, I am using the Neo 6M GPS module. This module ensures precise positioning with latitude and longitude coordinates, allowing us to track the location accurately. Here is the wiring diagram for the transmitter device. The LoRa module operates at 3.3 volts, so it is important to ensure that you have connected it to the 3.3 volt pin on the Arduino Nano. Next, I have connected pin 2 of the Arduino to the RX pin of the LoRa module using a voltage divider to convert the 5 volt signal to 3.3 volts, which is compatible with the LoRa module. Please take care while making the connections to prevent any damage to the hardware. Next, here is the wiring diagram for the receiver device. The connections are relatively straightforward. You won't need an additional power supply for the receiver because I will be powering it using my Android phone. Next, here, I have carefully connected all the components as per wiring diagram and both of my devices are now ready for operation. I have connected both devices to my computer for programming and debugging. Now it's time to look at the code. The code on the left belongs to the transmitter device. Here, first I have included the necessary libraries. The software serial library is used for serial communication with the LoRa module. And the Altsoft serial library is used for serial communication with the GPS module. Additionally, you need the tiny GPS plus library to pass the GPS data. Next, I have defined the digital pins that will be used for communication with the LoRa module and the GPS module. After that, I have created the tiny GPS plus object to handle GPS data. In the setup function, I have initialized the serial communication for USB, LoRa module, and GPS module. In the loop function, there is a while loop. It continuously reads GPS data from the Neo 6M GPS module. And when the new GPS data becomes available, then this display info function is called. This function is responsible for transmitting the GPS data to the receiver device using LoRa communication. Now, let's upload the code to the transmitter device.
Once the upload is complete, open the serial monitor. Here you can see that our transmitter device start transmitting the data. Next, let's take a look at the code on the right side. The code belongs to the receiver device. This code will receive the GPS data from the transmitter and then it forward this data to the Android app to display the real-time location on the Google map. You just upload this code to the receiver device. Once the upload is complete, open the serial monitor. Here you can see the receiver device starts receiving data from the transmitter. To test this project, there is no need to install a third-party serial monitor. You can simply open two separate instances of the Arduino IDE. This allows you to open two serial monitors simultaneously, which is ideal for testing the project. After successfully testing the project, you can connect the battery and mobile phone to both transmitter and receiver devices. This tracker is capable of tracking the location of any object within a range of 10 to 15 kilometers. I have tested it up to 3 kilometers and it give me the perfect results. That's all for today. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments section below. See you in the next video. Bye.